morning, guys. What a cracking morning. Shame about the breeze already around. It's quite breezy already. Down the south end of the lake this morning. I'm just going to be doing a bit of motoring around and seeing the bait fish back down this end. At the moment, it's quite quiet on the sound. I had a few little schools show up, but nothing exciting. And I've just got my usual squid jig. Got the big 130mm big stretch five on there. And I've really set up light today. I've got 10 pound trace on that, so it should be a bit of fun. And I got the fifth uh, 20 pound setup, 20 pound trace running sinker. But I'm mainly going to be using Pananoska setup today with a 15 pound setup on it. Uh, small little sinker on there. 7 0 hook, and yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh, I just had some bait fish actually show up on the sound of there. It's promising. Yeah, it really went quiet down this end after the rain. I think they all got pushed out towards the mouth, so it'll be interesting to see if they're heading back down this end. We've got some fresh frozen squid there. I'm gonna drop that down on the Pananoska, but yeah, I'm gonna vibe and mainly using that big stretch there so yeah we'll just motor along there's nothing too much down this end I might head up towards Wanji or yeah I'm not quite sure yet yeah probably around Wanji or Bar Island maybe we'll see how we go I'll come back when I get a bit of life on the sounder hopefully Just off one G point here, getting a bit of bait life. Bottom's a bit up and down here too, so it might be a bit of a bit of sandbanks up and down here. Anyway, we'll have a crack on the vibe and we'll put a little squid out and we'll see how we go. Got one here. Oh my god, it's tiny. A little tiny snapper. On a 130 mil vibe, you wouldn't read about it. I think the lure's as long as him, actually. Just scares the show, they'll, they'll have a look at anything if they're in the right mood. Oh, I got him! Oh no. Oh no. I got him. <laughs> That'd be a bother there to start. I knew that was a good tailor. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a tailor. That's a good fish. Lucky I lipped him. Oh, he would have bit me clean off. But yeah, it's getting up to that, that good size you like to see. He just bit my sinker off, of course. I've got some new snazzy gloves here, guys. I'm gonna look professional here. I'm gonna get, get my gloves on. Well, that's what I bought them for, so I may as well wear them. Anyway, I might keep that guy for the smoker. Good smoking size. Be happy about that. Forty on the dot. Forty on the dot, Taylor. Yeah, good eating size. So we'll get him on the ice. Jesus, nice and comfy these gloves, actually. Now it's just on the squid. Of course he somehow bit my sinker off while he was carrying on. I don't believe the bait score just scoured up next to the boat there guys. Taylor jumping everywhere. Jeez, I hadn't seen a bait ball come up like that for a long time.
yeah it was hardy heads jumping everywhere and then taylor clean jumping out of the water after him full airborne oh yes oh nice fish Oh, that nail, it feels like a knife, Taylor, guys. It smashed his spinner. Yeah, it's a nice one. She's a nice one. Absolutely smashed the spinner. Whoa, that's a big boy. I'm going to need the net on this guy. Went to lift him, but I thought, oh, he's a bit heavy to lift. What a beautiful tailor. Getting up that 50 range. Not quite, but yeah, he's getting up there. Oh. He's engulfed that. Absolutely engulfed that lure. Spinner, just bringing it in fast on the fast retrieve. And I'll save my fingers here because he's likely to bite my finger the pliers onto him yeah it's a beautiful smoking size but you're nice in the smoker i actually used that last chop filler to that last guy up for um for bait because i've i've run out of bait so I'll just have a quick look on them brag mad at him but yeah, you'll be getting up 45. Yeah, that 46, 46 centimetre Taylor. Nice big fat healthy guy. And he'll go lovely in the smoker. Alright, that was good fun. Good fun on the spinner when they're on. Let's try that again. Guys, these are good sized tailor. These are decent sized fish, these are. They're all over that 40. Oh, I dropped in. Oh, straight back on. Yeah, all these fish seem to be over the 40 centimetre range, which is really good quality tailor. Oh, he's coming up. This guy, he might. Might want to jump. But yeah, they're all good quality fish, these are. And they're great fun, these Taylor. They put up great fights. Textbook fish. Yeah, another great Taylor, yeah. And you got a chance of getting the big one doing this. Those big 60 centimetres, 70 centimetres. They do come up now and then. Oh, beautiful fish. Maybe slightly bigger than the last one, this one. Another beautiful fish. Yeah, I love catching Taylor. Great fun. Very active, spinning, bringing your spinner in. Yeah, it's just a good way to fish, actually. Very visual. Let's have a look at him. I think he's slightly bigger than the last one. Oh, yeah. He's a good fit. He's a 51 centimeter tailor, guys. He is an absolute rip snorter. Yeah, what a beauty. Absolute rip snorter, that is. That good 50 centimetre model. Yeah, these guys fill up the smoke box pretty quick, so I'll probably only need a couple of these guys. Maybe three. Jeez. Jeez, they're good size. 
absolutely beautiful. That's it guys, another adventure done. I think I got my PB Taylor for the year actually, 51. Oh, I may have cracked that a bit earlier in the year actually. But yeah, not a bad Taylor. Bit of a slow day really. Breeze was up early. No live bait, I was a bit lazy getting on the water. I didn't get live bait. And yeah, I didn't I paid the price I guess. I got a few good Taylor. I've got the little snapper. Home before lunchtime, but yeah, we'll head in now. Gonna make a fish soup. I decided about those Taylor. I've got a craving for a fish soup, so I'm gonna make some kind of chowder or something up with them. Should be nice. Anyway, guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you guys on the water. Catches.